The main focus for today we are going to look at determinant cofactor method 3 by 3 matrix this is lesson 101 introduction let us start suppose we have this matrix a and then we want to determine the determinant of matrix a using cofactor method what is important we need to keep this little table in mind we are actually going to use it to determine the determinant using the cofactor method now this is what is happening erase your choice to choose between row number one two and three to determine the determinant using the cofactor method that is the first step we need to choose a row so suppose we are going to use a row number one we are going to use row number one In row number one, we are going to start using one. Row number one, column number one, and then we look at this number, which forms this crossover. And then the determinant of A, it will be this number, which is one. Now, what will be the sign of one? Looking at this small table, we can see that on the first row and then the first column, the first, this element must be positive. So we are going to put positive and then we put the actual number, which is one. And then when we exclude row number one and column number one, we can see that we have this mini matrix here. So we are going to rewrite that matrix from there. We are done with one. We move on to the second element. Remember, we are still focusing on the first row. So we look at the second element on the first row which will also influence the second column so you can see that the number is negative three then we go to our mini table again looking at the mini table we are still focusing on row number one column number two we can see that the sign should be negative and then the number is negative three we put our matrix in this case, we have negative 2, uh, 1, 5, and 2. So it will be negative 2, 1, 5, and 2. We are done with the second element in row number 2. We go to the last one. The last one, we have this. It's 0. So looking at the mini table again, we can see that our zero will be positive because we are focusing on this. So we have positive zero, and then we open up a matrix, and then we have negative two, four, five, and negative two. So it's negative two, four, five, and negative two. Then from here, we can see that we have two by two matrices. Then in this case, we simply apply the determinant, how to determine the determinant on the two by two matrix. Remember, we look at the diagonal elements. So four multiplied by two, it's eight minus negative two multiplied by one, it will be negative two. And then negative three multiplied by, I mean negative one multiplied by negative three, it's positive three. And then negative two multiplied by two, it's negative four. Minus four multiplied by one, it's actually five multiplied by one is five. Plus zero. Negative two multiplied by negative two, we have positive four. 
5 multiplied by 4, we have 20. So from here, we can simply simplify. Inside the bracket, it will be negative multiplied by negative 2. It's positive 2. 8 plus 2, we actually have 10. Plus 3. Negative 4 minus negative Negative 4 minus 5, it's negative 9, plus 0. 4 minus 20, it's negative 16. From here, 1 multiplied by 10, it's 10. 3 multiplied by 9, actually negative 9, it's negative 27. And then 0 multiplied by 16, it's simply 0. And then 10 minus 27 is negative 70. So this is the determinant of matrix A. Now a question. Suppose another person uses a row number 2. The determinant will still be negative 70. Our next example, let us look at matrix B. Now remember it's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. For this one, we are going to use row number three to determine the determinant using the cofactor method. So the first element, it will be one. So determinant of B will be, we look at the sign, it's actually negative 1. We open up a matrix. We have 2, negative 8, 5, and 9. Well, I forgot to mention that you may pause the video since you saw the first example. Try to work out this question and play the video to verify the answer. Now we are done with the first element. Let us look at this. So we have negative 2. And then we have positive and negative. It will be negative 2. And then we have 0, negative 8, negative 4, and 9. We are done with this one. We are now here looking at the sign. The sign should be negative. So it will be negative 1. We open up a matrix. 1 is 0 to negative 4 and 5. So we have negative 1. We find the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrices. 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. And then 5 multiplied by 8, it's actually 5 multiplied by negative 8, we have minus, minus 40. And then from here we have negative 2, 0 multiplied by 9 is 0 minus 4, multi negative 4 multiplied by negative 8, 32. Negative 1, 0 multiplied by 5 is 0, minus negative 4 multiplied by positive 2 is negative 8. We need to simplify from here. Eighteen plus 40, minus 2, it will be negative 32 negative 1, it's positive 8. Negative 1, 40, 58, actually. 18 plus 40, it's 58. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 32, it's positive 64. And then we have negative 8. So basically we have 58 plus 64 minus 8. 
oh no there's a problem negative 1 and negative negative 1 multiplied by 58 it's actually negative 58 so it's negative 58 plus 64 minus 8 the determinant is negative 2 So this is how we actually apply the cofactor method in order to determine the determinant of a 3x3 matrix. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.